Hello everyone here of Madam back with the City of Paris mod and in this mod we're also going to talk about the uh, of course about the episode of the Vikings we also I'm also going to show you the map of Paris I'm going to place the mod in the um, yeah the mod in the the mod in the description where you can find it the link to it also players of the Vikings of course and all the others. I hope all of you have enjoyed We're going to fight uh, watch the replay. I place it with the Jutes against the East Romans because the East Romans they have skill armor and they just look a, uh, a bit more like the Franks instead of the Franks themselves in this mod because in Attila they are the younger version if you want to say it that way. Uh, I would like to play it with Charlemagne because I, the thing is I don't have it so yeah you have to deal with that. So if everyone is new to the channel and see this for the first time my channel uh, subscribe of course if you haven't already or like the video if you liked it and leave a like if you're going to like the video. And of course um, all the subscription of the apps, uh, playlists are in the, in the links below. Also the mods link. And this is a bit of the army composition and so forth. I must say the map is pretty big. There was a, bl a little bit of a glitch. I don't know what it is. Maybe with the mod or something is wrong. Uh, but the the seed when I uh, fight the seed engines and so forth, um, it really didn't um, work out well. I will show you the map and after that I will just uh, talk about the episode of the Vikings and we're going to do it in the cinematic mod. Yeah, I must say the mod, uh, the mod maker has done a nice job, it really looks cool. Um, especially this. Uh, this is not, but I think he would, uh, he's trying to imitate the cathedral. And I think it is also even possible to place your units up there. I'm also going to test that out. That seems to be the case because you have here kind of those ladders, or maybe I'm not sure. When you come out this way, I'm not sure. So I think there's also a bit of the part of the the old cathedral or something from Paris, and you see the Tiber. Or how? Sorry, guys, I don't know how the river is being called. But um, yeah, I'm going to start my artillery barrage from this side. Um, yeah, the wall is not could be commanded by any of the units, they're all down here, so the thing I want to do is, oh, nice. uh, get a bit fast forward so we can get into the action, really, that's the thing I really want to do. And they all, now the units are all, um, yeah, basically they are retreating to the center plaza, where we all, they all got the bloody towers defending. <laughs> I must say, they really, the, um, the mod maker has done a great job, nicely done. The city looks pretty nice, but we'll see what's left of it. Uh, yeah, the, the buildings, you yeah, can some kinds of churches and so forth. I must say, from uh, making the mod, um, great, nicely done. Uh, I like these buildings, very nice. Go on with this stuff. Uh, yeah, I can't down here. Uh, something glitched. I couldn't get up the walls or something. I don't know what it was, but now I'm just going to try and um, break down the, the walls and the gates. All right, we're going to start right now. We'll talk about the um, the Viking episode. The reason why I'm doing this right now with this mod is because uh, something was in insulating and so forth, so I couldn't use it this time. So for now, we will use this battle for it. And I'm going to send a little bit the music down, because it's a bit hard. The walls have fallen. Yeah, the this episode was pretty good, it was early starting off with Ragnar, um, and with Floki's punishment, I, it really, if I had such a punishment, I think it is horrible. Horrible, really. Oh, every time some bloody drop on your skull, oh, I'm, I'm, I can't imagine it, how, how, how would oh, how 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 it could have been oh yeah I thought oh and then also the thing that happened with Athelstan that Athelstan came back and said mercy mercy because I really in the trade that I thought was going to happen is that Ragnar was going to kill Helga to maybe punish him and he said also Helga you have suffered enough 
so that he maybe is going to uh, release her from her suffering. But at the end, he he reached Floki. And you also could see that Helga was trying also to um, let the drops not fall upon Floki, and also now firing upon the city, let it burn and so forth. Yeah. And also Bjorn and um, I think maybe something. I think if uh, Laga comes uh, uh, comes out, uh, knows that um, that Kalf has betrayed her once again. We're trying to kill her son. Something is going to happen possibly with the, these two characters. That maybe uh, they won't could kill off, or maybe even someone is going to die. Um, also, it seems to be the case that Rolo also got his own problems in Paris. He's trying to be learning, but earning code well. He, I don't know if that priest was dead or even if he's, he's a priest, but it seems to be the case he was dead. And yeah, he also tried to sue something with his, his uh, wife, Gisla, but yeah, he really wasn't too. Yeah, she was not uh, too happy with her, and uh, she also was saying something that. Um, yeah, not nice at all. But I can't understand why she's married off to a bloody barbarian that she even knows and that is not civilized and so forth. So, and also uh, Count Odo uh, doesn't really seem to be um, knowing that she is just working for somebody. And yeah, which in bloody woman would, in God's sake, want to let herself whipped? And yeah. I it seems to be some, uh, yeah, I don't know, if you were, uh, why on earth would you li like to do such, uh, such things to somebody? I don't see why it is, but, uh, someone, um, ever in his hobby, right? Or, <laughs> hobby, um, yeah, also Bjorn and his fight against the bear, the bull, how do you say bears? Yeah, bear, huh? bear, bear, yeah, bear. And against the bear was also pretty great, um, now he kills it and smash it into the head and uh, yeah in the start he was uh, trying to find the bear because he is was stealing his uh, deer he had stealing his deer only a leg was left of it and he also jump uh, he also um, when he uh, uh, when he uh, kills it uh, he, Ragnar hears him and so forth and also in that night that is also the thing that um, Avalanche Avalanche comes in that last um, episode of the episode 2 uh, not, yeah episode 2 was that um, Auslag really got a hit of Ragnar, I can understand why he did it. And he also really in that episode, he was pretty um, trying to uh, let uh, Auslag feel the pain and so forth, what she had done, and yeah. He really was trying to hurt her, you could, could see that. Yeah, alright, that was a bit of a talk about the episode, I hope all of you have enjoyed that. Let me just know in the comments what you think of the episode and what I'm going to say. But first, before I'm going to end that, um, we're also going to talk about, of course, the that um, King um, Eckbert himself also had uh, some confrontation with Athelstan that he knows that he was dead. And um, what was the wife? I forgot how was she. Uh, he, she was named the wife of. Um, Jesus of the pri of the son of um, Aethelwulf he was called yes Aethelwulf um, that she uh, was trying to uh, get her first teachings and, and we also came, came to know that oh, oh shoot I thought they were in the fire <laughs> um, we also came to know that the that p the men uh, people in Paris were lying about what happened into the siege that they said they had won and repelled, that all the Vikings were dead when they entered the cathedral. That is also a bloody lie. They bloody were defeated. So I understand why they did it because otherwise they know will they will know that Paris was being defeated by barbarians and Vikings. I can't understand why they try and um, not tell it because it is very stupid. If you want to be co uh, still be uh, the great power in your empire, I understand why you would do it. Um, yeah, also that um, Count Odo was um, uh, keep the Rolo in third place, but it was very smart of him that he do did that. And yeah, and also that he didn't want to leave. And so when that would be teached and so forth. I'm interested how the storyline will progress, with, especially with Rolo. It's very interested how he is, um, what he will become in the latest episode. 
I know he is going to become the general in the army. I may be even going to think that Count Odo is going to be killed by the Emperor or beheaded because um, uh, that um, the lower commander or the rival of Odo is going to possibly betray him to a count uh, to the Emperor of uh, yeah the Emperor of uh, or the King. I should not really call it an Emperor because it really isn't. And yeah, that is all I can see about the episode. I hope all of you enjoyed it, and we will continue. Let's see now the last of this battle. And get in the car. Uh, normal speed. I must say, it is not my pet. Uh, it is not really great micro or in any kind. So uh, let it be the normal. And here we just a bit of grind, trying to kill them off. Ooh. Yeah, I can show you once again around the city. Um, yeah. Um, let's have a nice shot. Uh, crazy shot, why not? Yeah, great. Um, and a cut radio from Paris. Um... And behind this, I think, a bit like this would also be nice. Yes, nice shots, right? I must say, the mod developer, nicely done. And I hope I'm going to get a few more battles in with this map. And maybe it even was because of something else that happened that the walls didn't work. I'm not sure about that. We'll see. I'm going to test it out. So. Uh, today, uh, on Sunday, will as well be the Roman Empire, I already told that in my Scalvadian campaign. That Let's Play is always in the description, so if you want to see it... <laughs> they are throwing. <laughs> oh, that seems so slow, that seems funny. Mm -hmm. Ah, they're trying to come in. And I'm also now trying to shoot it with the artillery, but it is not really a success, I can't say you that. Yeah, I shoot one in, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really do something, so... Yeah, that is basically the battle that happened. I'm just not better showcasing it. Let's show you around it. Ah, let's go all around and come from this way. <laughs> oh, did I see? Ah, this was because possible. Because. All right, come into the city of Paris. Um, get it. Oh, oh. Uh, screenshot once more. Yes, that's nice. So, a bit like this. Um, yes. Why not? Um, uh, let's go see if we can see some hacking and slashing. Seems to be broken through down here with the horse calls and so forth. Yeah, I thought that the East Romans of that uh, time just a little bit more, let's see, the Franks at the time of the Vikings and the Vikings episode. So, the Vikings, the Attila in the main campaign just are too Germanic and so forth. So, I thought I'm just going to do it like this. And I thought, why not? They're trying to throw the things. Oh, and down here they are killing everybody. Let's see. They're just really easy and flee and so forth. Yeah, just a bit screenshot, why not, right? 
Um, yeah, give me a few like this, maybe a bit like this. So, yes, let's get in normal mode. Uh, yeah, they got some kills. Yeah, I'm just feathering them into golden. I thought, yeah, I'm just going to showcase the map. So. Yeah, I get a bit more forward because now anymore this is going to be a little bit of the last slaughtering. So um, I hope of course that you all have enjoyed the Scalfaning campaign that also has been released. And yeah, um, I'm going to wrap up the episode here guys because this is not going to be anything more. I hope all of you have enjoyed it. Check out this map and mod. So and of course until next time on the Hero of Marathon channel with the Vikings, Galvanians, Roman Empire and all the other campaigns I have played with. I hope all of you have enjoyed it and until next time. Goodbye everyone.